People wonder how magicians are able to find your card so easily or perform acts of mind reading that borders on impossible. Do magicians really have psychic abilities? Well, you've heard of that expression about that mentalists or psychics would have that third eye that can see into the future or influence people. Well, and that's true, magicians have that third eye, except the difference is we keep ours in a jar. This is our psychic eye that allows us to see in the future and predict things. And uh, it not only sees in the future, but it also controls your will. It subconsciously makes you do what we want you to do. In the case in point, here we have a deck of cards. We're going to start dealing the cards out. And you, the spectator, thinking that you have free will of your own, will call out stop whenever you feel like it. And the spectator watches us deal out the cards one by one until finally he calls out stop. You tell him, is this where you want to stop? And he says, no, go a little further. I'm okay. And he calls out, stop. You tell him, here's where you want to stop? And he says, no, go one loop bit further, one more time. And we allow him to do it. Finally, the spectator calls out, stop. And you tell him, is this where you want to stop? And he said, yes. And you tell him, look at the card that he'd stopped at. Does that card have any kind of special significance to you? And he says, no. Tell them to look at the backs of the cards. They all have blue backs. They're all well mixed cards, every one of them. But as we said before, the psychic eye controls what you do. It influences you, whether you like it or not, because you thought you had free will and calling out stop whenever you wanted. But in fact, you called out stop on the only red back card in the entire deck of blue bags, showing that you had no free will of your own. You were under the influence of the I the entire time. And that's how magicians are able to do these amazing card tricks.